Hey guys, we're going to take a look at a really cool biohacking device today, a ice bath from Morozco Forge, and it's pretty fancy. It's pretty nice. Uh, I, I was able to test it during a recent um, EMF evaluation at my client's house, and I just wanted to do kind of a different evaluation for you. Um, there's a lot of these therapeutic devices out there now, like infrared lights, infrared saunas, cold plunges, um, so many other things. And nobody's really talking about this, but it's important because our intention in using these devices is to help our bodies, to improve our performance, to heal from injury, to just generally be healthier. But what's not being talked about is that all of these devices use electricity, they draw energy from the power grid, and as a result, they have a EMF or electromagnetic radiation profile that comes off of all the wiring in them and travels throughout and can get onto the metal um, and, and just get closer to your body. And this type of artificial energy has been studied for a long time, back to the, the middle of the last century, actually. And time and time again, they find effects across various body systems from, you know, day-to-day -day symptoms like a brain fog, inflammation, uh, skin rash, eye fatigue, body aches, pains, into full-on disease processes like infertility, neurodegeneration, cancers, diabetes, there's a lot of effects. There's a ton of research, a ton of papers out there that have been done. So I just want to give you a little different perspective on some of these therapeutic devices. I think when you uh, are considering using one, it's important to know how much EMF radiation does this thing put off? How much increase uh, in that EMF am I bringing towards my body in this place where I'm trying to heal? It's really important to know. Um, you may get two steps forward in therapeutic benefit, but one or two or three steps back in this negative, this artificial energy that's being brought close to your body. That's why a lot of people don't feel great in some of these devices that are um, really high power usage. So I want to just provide that different perspective today and kind of teach you how to how to look at this, how to evaluate it. And, you know, thinking about cold baths, um, how to use them a little bit differently. And in the case of a cold bath, to reduce this downside, this artificial energy radiation coming at you, the easiest fix is to get the bath to the temperature you want and then to unplug it from the wall. The water will stay cold for some time and you won't have that electromagnetic profile that you're going to see in this video that's basically covering the whole bathtub and your body while you're in it. So that's a super simple one in terms of cold baths. And um, just one other safety note, this cold bath from Morozco has been designed to uh, reduce chances for electrocution. So you could, you could use it while it's plugged in and running based on their, their wiring that they've done in it. If you are using a DIY setup, like a chest freezer, um, which is what I use, which is great as well and a lot less expensive, never, ever, ever get in that thing while it's plugged into the wall. Again, get it set to the temperature you want, unplug it, hop in, do your thing, and when you get out, you can plug it back in and it'll be ready for next time. So. Hope you uh, appreciate this insight and I hope you learned something from it. I'd love it if you subscribe and click that notification button. If you've got any thoughts, questions uh, about this or other therapeutic devices, I do have some videos on those and uh, feel free to leave a comment too. Let's have a conversation. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. So let's check it out with our professional grade gas meter. So the unit is uh, running right now. And we're looking at the magnetic field. It's about a half a milligauss back here, which is actually close to the ambient levels for this room due to some nearby power lines. So most of that's not coming from the, the cold bath down here. But as we move down the line and get a little closer to the uh, pump, 
we're increasing 1.4, 1.5, 2 milligauss. And here right by the pump, about 13 milligauss. And that magnetic, magnetic field is going to really cut through anything in the area. So um, anywhere down this line, it's going to be about the same as you saw. We're going to drop back down here to about a half a milligauss. Now let's check out the electric field. About 9 volts per meter down here. And let's just step it back towards the electronics. About nine and a half. At the end of the tub, about 14. And then over the motors, um, up to 20.